we're starting off Tuesday leg day right with squats. We're doing five sets. One of those being a warm up, 20 reps. Then we're going down to 12, 10, 8, 6. And that's all she wrote. With RDLs, it's all about hip flexion and extension, isolating the hamstrings. What you want to do is try to start with the weight up, because that's the start position. Pull it down to a nice stretch, bring it back up, a nice squeeze, top. So I'm usually not a huge advocate of straps, but when the weight's starting to get heavier and your grip's being tested, and you feel like your grip's giving out before the muscle that you're trying to target, like hamstrings in this case, you want to implement them in so that way you get more work in the hamstrings and less in the grip. Okay, so RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. We're doing five sets of 10 reps. We are pyramiding up in weight. So the first one was kind of a feel out set, kind of getting our hamstring strength kind of set. And we went up to three plates, still in the 10 rep range. All right, for our third exercise, we're doing walking lunges with the dumbbells. And we're doing five sets of 20 steps. So 10 steps one way and then 10 steps back. We got, we got lunge traffic. Really test your cardiovascular strength too. Hard to get that breath in. Leg extensions, five sets, 12 reps. This is an isolation exercise, really gonna concentrate on the quads, bring in some of that detail and also size. Leg curls, isolation exercise for the hamstrings or the biceps femoris. So in this case, the knee joint is acting like the elbow joint where it's getting that nice flexion in the joint and really working those hamstrings. Whereas the leg extensions is the exact opposite and it's getting the extension, which is gonna work the quadriceps. Five sets, 12 reps. Finishing off with calf raises, we're doing six sets, 12 reps. Going pretty heavy on these. What you wanna do is get a nice stretch at the bottom and then bring those heels up, getting the full contraction at the top. Nice squeeze, slight hold, and then slowly let it down to the bottom again for that full stretch. If you don't have this machine, which is a horizontal calf raise machine, you can do seated calf raises, standing calf raises, donkey calf raises, or anything to your liking, just so that way you stress that calf muscle as much as possible for those six sets.